Welcome to Crypto Live. In this video, let's see if XRP is indeed going to 500 and the incoming of cyber attack that could lead Black Swan event to Ripple XRP rollout. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. Did you know that another huge victory for Ripple holders as XRP's price is again breaking out recently? In the video today, we will discuss cyber attacks and the impact of the financial crisis on the world. And it is going to give you some insight into the financial crisis and what experts have to say about it. You'll also learn about how XRP can help us through this crisis. Lastly, there is a glimpse of what to expect in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. Then, let's start the video. Ripple's CTO, David Schwartz, has an active social media presence. His followers are always updated, and he has previously shared a picture saying that PayPal will not be available and PayPal values a safe community for its customers. The activity in your account has violated our user agreement, so we are unable to offer PayPal services to you, and it will take 180 days for the money transaction to be resumed. That was the gist of it. In response, David Schwartz suggested that a decentralized system could not perform this function, and that we must use crypto only for our own convenience, and that is the reason why the future will only be about crypto. It is because our money is decentralized in the blockchain and we are free to send and receive it whenever we want. Then, eventually, it will become the financial system of the world. Initially, we were delayed by the crypto regulation. However, our wait will be over soon, and after the market change, we will move to the digital future with cryptocurrency. Several crypto influencers and investors have recently warned the people about a cyber attack that is brewing. This world event is set to occur by the end of August, according to tweets from at XRP is our future, and asked everyone to stay safe and that he loves them all. Also, almost everyone is betting on a cyber attack. Even the crypto charts will show something big. In another tweet, XRP was announced as being released and that the time has come, the Lord said it is time to go. Experts also believed that this system is in danger of collapse. For this, experts added that an emergency panic will cause a lot of confidence in the dollar and all central bank currencies, not only in the yen, but in the euro and yen as well. So, as they say that the system is going to collapse at some point, but we don't know when. The time is now to hold on to that crypto or gold and silver because fiat currency will not aid our cause. Recently, XRP has made huge progress thanks to the bull run that has experienced in the past few days. On August 14th, Stefan Huber said XRP has gained 130% in four weeks, which normally takes at least 15 years. It was BitBoy Crypto who predicted that XRP would increase in value to $10 to $12 shortly after this bullish movement. A recent article from The Conversation suggests that climate change may trigger the next big financial crisis. However, central banks are able to prevent this from happening. During the 2008 financial crisis, the nation saw how crucial financial regulation for economic stability is as large banks failed across Wall Street and housing and stock markets crashed, as well as how quickly the economy can be crippled when regulators are asleep. So, will it be a repeat of history? Because today, a new economic risk is looming. Climate change. Financial regulators and central banks' actions will heavily determine how much it hurts economies, Thus, a number of monetary policy and financial regulation options have been suggested by central banks and academics to combat climate change. Among these methods is green quantitative easing, which works similarly to quantitative easing used to help the economy recover from the 2008 recession. It would then purchase only assets that were environmentally friendly or green, and potentially, green quantitative easing would encourage investment in eco-friendly projects and technologies, like renewable energy. However, research suggests that effects are short-lived. This is what Ripple is also doing, since it promises to release carbon-free crypto. Even top cryptocurrencies contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, Bitcoin has even been facing a crisis lately for this reason. Thus, a green currency is required for the world, and XRP is far better for the environment when it comes to energy consumption. As a whole, these plans share a common goal to reduce global carbon emissions and reduce financial system exposure to carbon-intensive industries. 
With the introduction of a new climate policy on July 16, 2021, the Bank of Japan announced no-interest loans for banks with ecologically beneficial projects, green bond support, and encouragement for banks to disclose their climate risks. A committee formed by the Federal Reserve to design a climate stress test has started looking into these measures. Recently, Ripple wrote about the new era of global finance. As we all know, Ripple's vision since its founding in 2012 is to enable a world where money flows as seamlessly as information. This is true in the area of cross-border payments, where they are accelerating that vision to meet the new identity of global finance. In order for the customers to flourish in this new environment, they have built a modern infrastructure that will enable them to move money like never before. And the RippleNet platform allows the customers to harness the power of blockchain technology, enabling them to move money more quickly and at lower costs. Thus, the global financial system becomes even more efficient through increased competition, both nationally and internationally. And globally, banks and financial companies are able to significantly increase the speed, cost, and reliability of transactions with individual clients. Obviously, Ripple is trying its best despite the lawsuit. Due to this, Ripple is now used by almost all financial institutions. Then, eventually, Ripple will be able to take over the global financial system. Whenever there is a chance of a settlement regarding the cryptocurrency trial of the century, something happens. Also, a document published on Twitter states that Ripple's response to the SEC's emergency motion for discovery conference regarding Slack communications and any motions filed to seal exhibits will be due on August 16th, 2021. Thereafter, on August 17th, the SEC will respond to Ripple's motion for discovery conference regarding the SEC's improper citation of the deliberative process privilege and any motion to seal exhibits filed with that motion. It is August 31st for fact discovery deadline and October 31st for expert discovery. Hence, the lawsuit is likely to be dragged out until year's end. In addition, the court has to decide whether to conduct a telephone conference regarding the discovery disputes regarding the deliberative process privilege and the Slack communications. Ripple's motion to intervene, the SEC's motion to dismiss its lack of fair notice and due process affirmative defense, and a motion to dismiss the SEC's first amended complaint by the defendant. However, no argument dates have been set for the motion to intervene, and it appears that the motion to dismiss, or the motion to strike outside of the court, Ripple continues to expand its reach within Asia-Pacific. In spite of XRP's legal challenges in the United States, the company recently announced the extension of its remittance corridor between South Korea and Thailand, and the company has seen its value soar. XRP's price was around $1.19, with a daily trading volume of $8.7 billion USD, according to Finance Yahoo last August 17th at 10.12 UTC. With a market cap of $51.40, CoinMarketCap ranks 6 currently. I think that Ripple can really make our financial system better. Therefore, I believe that XRP at $500 is more than achievable, as we know how vital our financial system is. Also, in my opinion, XRP's security potential means that any cyber attacks that may come against the crypto market would not affect the XRP network, but rather make it easier for it to roll out. So, is it possible for Ripple and XRP to survive the financial crisis and fix the problem forever? That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.